ladies and gentlemen. Right now we have a very special, interesting announcement being made here. Uh, might have issues. Let me hear you say Explain the majority, or let's just say that there is a very high possibility that the channel, well, might be on its last legs. All right, as you can probably tell, this is not going to be a typical video. Uh, this is not Beerus speaking to you, this is the man behind the madness, Stephen. Yeah, I know, kind of weird to actually say that uh, on camera, but it is. It's the guy behind the Beerus character and all that. And I hate doing these types of videos now as I think it ruins the appeal of what we do. However, if you have been paying attention these last three weeks, there hasn't been anything going up to keep the appeal going. And why is that? I'm going to choose my words here very carefully because I don't want to risk furthering the problem, but I will at least tell you what has happened. Uh, as... You longtime fans know our content can be generously described as questionable, offensive, edgy, I don't like that one, uh, or could be presented all the way as absolutely fucked up and doesn't belong on this platform. Um, and as time goes on, the standards, I guess, continue to soften and, you know, we can't do now what we could even five years ago as some of the videos that have recently been taken down are five years old which actually leads me to the problem uh three weeks ago probably two weeks ago as of recording this um a video got struck down it was a video that we did back in 2018 on the road to missionary 41 uh called sons of vengeance shit list i do just want to make uh it known now i'm not blaming the sons of vengeance i found their videos some of them funny, some of them not. But they were, I will give credit where it's due, they were very good. Uh, one of their videos got taken down, and that was our second strike in three months. And uh, we got one in January, I think, and this might be wrong, for one of the Metis Possession tag matches. Why, I have no idea. Um, so we could not post for two weeks. However, the bigger problem is... If we get one more, the channel is terminated. Since that second strike, we've gotten three more. How this channel is still up, I have no idea. Unless it's taken down by the time I attempt to post it. In which case, uh-oh. But um, as of right now, the channel is still up as of what's today? March 21st. Yeah. Uh, so the channel is still up. We're continuously getting videos. We're getting all the best matches, moments, memories. I'm making montages and compilations of the hardcore championship. Of I'll explain a couple of uh, compilations of the biggest parts of certain feuds, uh, certain parts of like build up videos. I'm making compilations of, and so on and so forth. And really, asshole. Um, <coughs> We're getting as many great videos as we can to ultimately save them and do what with them? Put them on essentially a uh, underground channel where, again, our best stuff can be saved. So with that being said, what does the future hold for us? Well, if the channel gets terminated for more strikes, um, well, this channel's dead, and you may not even see this. Um, but I will tell you that for sure we are going to Missionary 53. Because I don't personally care how things have changed. Okay, we've been doing this for eight and a half years. All right? Eight and a half years. And we've gone through worse than this. The channel has been taken. The old channel was deleted. We've wrestled with, honestly, maybe less than the amount of people we have now. 
back in 2016. We've wrestled through the winter. We've wrestled through injuries. We've wrestled through it all. We've had federations die and we kept going. So I am not saying we are going past 53 because between the lack of people and the direction of the channel and just the fact that our content at this point is not fit for something like YouTube, um, I don't know that that's the best idea because if this channel can survive these strikes, I would at least like to keep this thing alive. And if that means stopping it rather than killing it, I would rather do that. Uh, with that being said, also that leads me to another point. Uh, all the videos are unlisted. They are in playlists, not all of them, as I came to find out when searching for certain videos, uh, but the majority of videos that uh, are in playlists that I've made over the years are viewable on said playlist. Obviously, if you're like most of the people here and can't remember, welcome to the club. Most people here can't remember when they had certain matches either. It's okay. Um, but they are unlisted. They are not going to be privated. That is not happening unless that is the last ditch effort because I I personally don't think that's right to do. I don't think that's right to do to all the wrestlers who have busted their ass to make this what it is. Uh, that's just not right. That's not fair to them. They should have, they, they have as much uh, right to watching that content as anybody else. And obviously, unless I give them channel access, they can't see it. And no offense, I don't want to quite be throwing channel access around to anyone and everyone. Uh, so the videos will remain on unlisted unless again, it's a last ditch effort to save the videos. Um, which, again, I hope it doesn't come to that. But, yes, everything's unlisted. And we will continue to go to Missionary 53 at least. Because, again, even if this is finally the end of the line, though, again, longtime fans have heard that. One, two, three, four, five. At least five times. Six. Six times. A lot. Um, these circumstances are a little bit different, though. Uh, but ultimately, we're at least going out with a bang and not with a whimper because YouTube said bad dog. Not happening. <laughs> um, but like I said, hopefully you all get to see this. If not, I guess I'm kind of just talking to a camera right now. But, you know, uh, whoever does see this, I hope you continue to enjoy this next month. Missionary 53 is set for April 30th with, and I will tell you all now, the scheduled main event being Beerus and Zero Assault for the World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, we have a lot of other plans going into 53 that I find quite interesting, personally. You may not. I hope you do. Uh, with all that being said, I want to take this moment, because this could be the last time I have this opportunity. Last time I checked, we were at 1,790 subscribers. I remember restarting PGW back in November 16, where me and Chris were the first two subscribers of this channel. Since then, we have added an extra 1,788. And I just personally want to say thank you. I don't care if you like Beerus. I don't care if you, like, if you don't like me. Because personally, I appreciate all the feedback we've gotten. With the exception of you creeps who watch us because you find it attractive. That's weird. But I appreciate everyone who is a fan of PGW. Everyone who has commented, liked, subscribed, shared, talked about, enjoyed, hated, or gave any sort of reaction to the Proving Grounds, I appreciate all of you, and I thank you all very much, and I thank you to all of the wrestlers who have made this a possibility and led something that shouldn't have gotten out of playing wrestler leading to an eight-and-a-half-year journey for me. Thank you all very much. I very much appreciate it. And uh, regardless of what happens, this is the Proving Grounds, and we are ending on our terms. So with that being said... I hope you all enjoy whatever it is we have left to offer, and I will see you around. Well, only the future has the plan for the channel now. Let's just pray.